Focus. Ideate. Innovate. Enable. The National Stock Exchange of India has been actively involved with initiatives to educate the young generation of our country on the importance of financial management. One such initiative is NSE Finwiz that focuses on educating and advising the young workforce of the country on wealth management to enhance financial literacy and to empower them. Insurance is for protection. and investment is for growth another program facilitated by nsc ipft is nsc financial quest this inter school financial quiz contest goes an extra mile by educating the young students on fundamentals of finance on the buzzer what is this it's the formula for the simple interest simple interest is the right answer Under the NSE Financial Quest Base Camp banner, the program engages students around the year through workshops on various topics, projects, interactive videos, and quizzes. The Capriol is bouncing checks of Pan Am. Plus seventy-five, Adar. Plus seventy-five. To facilitate these two programs, NSC, along with CNBC TV18, has travelled across the country to bridge the wide knowledge gap in terms of finance. This episode of NSE FQ, we are all set to achieve our objective once again by gauging young minds in a new city. Hello and a warm welcome to NSE's Financial Quest Season Six, ladies and gentlemen. Today we come to you from the beautiful and the extremely well-planned city of Chandigarh. From the city of Chandigarh, let me begin with the first introduction of the eight teams. Those then are your top eight at Chandigarh. Let the panel field open up with the first of my segments. But before that. You already know this, and for the teams, a refresher on this. You know the scoring pattern is the three different types of questions, right? Bulls, bears, and stags. Bulls are worth a hundred, bears are worth seventy-five, and stags are worth fifty points. You have a scoring opportunity or an investment opportunity, which is three tier. The first one is fixed deposits at ten percent, mutual funds at fifteen percent, and stock market at twenty percent. The direct round of the first segment. no negative marking so feel free to invest as much as you can and get back as much as you can on the second and third segments where there will be buzzers and that's the part which gets exciting you invest on your question if you get it wrong the amount you've invested or rather the total amount becomes a negative too you could get a positive of that much or negative of that much but we will move on to the first of my segments coming up for you on your screen is opening bell Question number one coming up for you. Table number one. Vivek High School from Mohali. Your question on your screen. Here we go. Okay, is the stock market index associated with this country for seventy-five points, or if you wish to invest? Pass. You're not even attempting it. No negative marking. Why would you do that? Across table two, BVP. You can't invest because it's not a direct question. It's Japan. Sorry, Japan. J A P A N plus seventy five is what you get. That's a nice way to start. Okay, moving on. Question following you: the valuation of the damaged property, that is, its monetary worth at the market value immediately preceding the occurrence of loss, is called dash cash value of the property. What is the fill in the blank? You need to fill in the blank for me. It's a simple word. It's not a technical term. It's a simple English word that you need to fill in the blank. Pass. Passing. Okay. Table three, which is the Gurukul. 
I'm passing you, Gurukul. Too much time on that. Table number four, DC Montessori. Passing you guys. Too much time. Uh, Saint Soldier School. Table number five. No? Pass. Table six, Gandhi Public School. Pass. Table seven, DAB Public School. It pass. Passing. Uh, Gurukul Global. Pass. Passing. Table number one. Okay, nobody going on the buzz, uh, forget the buzzer, nobody even going on the pass on that one, everyone saying pass. Uh, if you read the sentence, right, preceding the occurrence of the loss, the market value immediately preceding the occurrence of the loss is called the actual cash value of the property. It's a simple, straightforward English word, actual. It fits in there also. You've got two letters, you should have put that in. Okay, no one getting that actual is a word that is access uh, astonishingly difficult for you guys, but I'll move on to the next one. Table number three, the Gurukul School. Your question, or rather your statement with it, ZAR or ZAR is the currency core of this African country. We would like to invest in stock market. Stock market, 90 points on that one. Go on. South Africa. S-O-U-T-H-A-F-R-I-C-A -A would give you 90 points. Well done. Well done, Gurukul. That's a nice answer. South Africa's currency code is Z-A-R or Z-A-R and that's 90 points. Well done. Moving on. DC Montessori, your question. Here we go. Moody's Corporation cut the dash rating for the Delhi International Airport Limited recently. Fill in the blank. Pass. Passing. Why? The girls from uh, Saint Soldiers School. Credit. Credit. Spell that. C-R-E-D-I-T C-R-E-D-I-T Moody's Corporation cut the credit rating for D-I-A-L and I will give you 75 points for that. Well done. Nice answer. Moody's Corporation gives out credit ratings to different institutions and uh, recently they cut the credit rating of D-I-A-L. Moving on to the next one. This is a question direct to the girls from St. Soldiers. Here we go. Blockchain is the main technological innovation for this cryptocurrency. Do you want to invest? Uh, we want to invest in stock market. Stock market, 490 points. It's Bitcoin. B-I-T-C-O-I-N. Plus 90 on that one. Plus 90, doing well. Okay. DAV Public School, your 75 pointer on your screen. Immediate Payment Services or IMPS is an instant interbank electronic fund transfer service through Dash. Dash, do you want to invest? Come on, guys. Moving you, Google, Global. Table 8. Pass. Passing. DC Montessori. Mobile phone. Mobile phone. Electronic fund transfer service through mobile phone. Plus 75. Plus 75. Okay, moving on from that mobile phone what that fetched DC Montessori 75 points. I'll move on to the next question, which is the last one of this round directed to Gurukul Global School. Here we go. An entry recording a sum owed listed on the left-hand side of column of an account. Share market. Share market, 90-pointer. Debit. D-E-B-I-T, debit. Plus 90 to you. Plus 90 to you. That brings us to the close of our first segment, which was the opening bell. Teams have done very well, and some teams not so. Don't worry. Lots more rounds, lots more points, lots more buzzers to come. All that on the other side of the break. You're watching NSC's Financial Quest Season 6. Keep watching. Welcome back. You're watching NSE's Financial Quest Season 6. We come to you from the city of Chandigarh. Like I said before the break, it's just the first segment that is over. Let's have a quick look at the scoreboard on your screen and then we can move on to our second segment. Scoreboard on your screen right now.
second segment is trading and in this segment it's all about the power of the buzzer best of luck everybody's hands on the buzzer here we go here comes the question this is known as the pbc or pboc you need to tell me what does pbc or pboc stand for it's a bank that i'm showing you someone's gone on the buzzer that would be table number five saint soldiers school divya anishita you want to invest no not wanting to invest it's a hundred pointer so you're playing it at hundred what's the answer this is people's bank of china people's bank of china pbc or pboc you should have invested 100 points on that one 100 points on getting people's bank of china right uh, very very big bank and the buzzers are neutralized rest of you you need to go a little and risk it a little or you're going to be running away with this i'll move on to the next one it's a 75 pointer open to everyone on the buzzer of course and here comes the question agreement on the eea provides for the free movement of persons goods services and capital within the european single market if e stands for europe and a stands for area what does the second e in eea stand for one word anybody willing to risk this one 75 pointer which can go up to 90 table number 3 the gurukul school you've gone in the buzzer first up do you want to invest or you're playing it on base value no investment <laughs> no investment okay okay what's the uh, you're playing it at base value of 75 what's the answer european exchange european exchange area sometimes not playing it in the buzzer or uh, on the investment is a good thing so that's an incorrect answer that's a minus 75 that you take on that one okay the answer there of course was being european economic area that was the second e in eea okay here we go next one coming up for you it's a 50 pointer here comes the question a bank account held by more than one person each individual having the right to deposit and withdraw funds dc montessori table number four quickest on the buzzer do you want to invest yeah stock market you make 60 points out of that what's your answer joint account do you have any joint accounts no do you have bank account yeah and how much of money is there in the bank no i'm just i'm just kidding you and that is a beautiful 60 point uh, to dc montessori for getting joint account right that's a quick answer on that one well well done okay moving on to the next one this is a bare question which basically means 75 points on the buzzer you need to identify this currency for me you need to identify this currency here we go this it, it, it has the shrine of Hazrat Ali present on the front and the tomb of Ahmad Shah Durrani in the back. Identify this currency that shares its name or has got a similar name to the name of the country. Similar, not same, similar. 75 pointer Asian country. It's an Asian country. Guru Cool School, taking a risk. Are you investing? No investment. Okay, I like these guys. Go on. It's Afghani from Afghanistan. Sometimes you should invest. It's either or. You either invest and don't get it uh, right or you don't invest and you get it wrong. Okay. Moving on, but I will give you your... Uh, you're not investing. So that was a 75 pointer question. So that's 75 points that you get. It could have been a 90 on that. That's okay. Not a problem. Moving on. This is a 50 pointer or a stack question. Here we go. The name of this card is a combination of two words, rupee and payment, initiated by the National Payment Corporation of India. Which card is this? Table number 7, DAV Public School. You've gone on the buzzer. What is your answer? Rupee. Don't want to invest? No. No investment. On a 50-pointer, no investment? But your answer is? Rupee. Rupee is the answer. At least take 10 points extra. You should have invested 50 points for getting rupee, right? JV getting on to the scoreboard with a 50 pointer that was rupee okay that brings us to the close of our second segment like i said once the buzzers come in team start scoring we will come back with scores and the last segment that will decide who the champion of chandigarh is don't go anywhere you're watching nsc's financial quest season six we'll be right back
Welcome back. We come to you from the city of Chandigarh. Two segments done. Teams almost tied neck and neck with a slight lead here and a slight not so lead there. Should have been better than that. But let's take a look at the scoreboard before we continue. Scoreboard on your screen right about now. The last round coming up for you and it's called Settlement. Here it comes. Here we go. Question number one for you is a bull question. Okay. Here comes the question. Take a look at this visual. Identify the pattern that shares its name with a line of very famous shampoos in India. This is something from the stock market but this pattern the graph, the name of the graph is uh, very similar to a very famous shampoo brand in India. Gurukul Global, table number three. Do you want to invest? Yes. Invest in what? Highest. That is stock market. Yes. So if you get it wrong, it's a minus 120. Yes. What's your answer? Pending. What? When you get it right, you don't invest. When you get it wrong, you invest. That's a minus 120 that you take. It's not Pantene. If you take a look at, if you take a, anybody else wants to try? Seismograph. Uh, Sorry? Seismograph. Seismograph. No, that's got to do with earthquakes. So Pantene is not. Sorry? Head and shoulders. Head and shoulders. There's a head and those two graphs below become the shoulders of the graph. It's the head and shoulders graph. <laughs> There's logic to it. Should have worked it out. Should have worked it out. I know it's a tougher question, but I thought it could be worked out because I said it has its name that is associated with a shampoo. Okay, moving on. Next one, this is a bear question. The transatlantic trade and investment partnership that will create the biggest free trade area the world has ever seen is currently under negotiation between the EU and which country? Table number three, Gurukul School, again on the buzzer. Investing, not investing? Stock market. 90 points. That's the United States. Sorry? United States. United States. Why? Because the transatlantic trade traditionally known to be between the Europe and the United States of America. Europe and US, Atlantic in between. Yes. 75 points, you could have just gone on the base value, but you decided to invest and make it 90. And you've already got a minus 120, but this time, it's a good one. Plus 90 on that one. Nice one. I'll move on to my penultimate question. This is a connection question. What a connection question does is, I'm going to give you three elements, okay? Three visuals will come up on screen. You need to connect all three and tell me what's the connection or what is the commonality to all three. Here we go. The future of business news. Markets today. And there's this amazing woman's photograph there. All three elements connect to what? Markets today. The photograph. The lady there is Shireen Barn, if that helps. The future of business today. Saint Soldiers, table number five. I just told you to be careful. Okay, it's a 100 pointer. Do you want to invest? No. You're playing it at base value. Okay. Sir, this is CNBC. Okay. Uh, because it is the tagline of the future of the business news. Okay. Market Today is a program on CNBC. And Shane Mann is uh, uh, an anchor. She's an anchor and the managing editor of CNBC TV. Yeah. Outstanding answer. Plus 100 on that. I don't know why you did not invest. You knew all three parts of the storyline. Why didn't you invest? Okay. One last question and this one is a little localized flavor thrown into it. I'm just saying localized flavor. I'm going to show you a uh, currency note. You need to identify and tell me who this person is. If you tell me why, great. But if you can just tell me who this person is, more than enough. 400 points. Last question. Who is this gentleman? I said there is a local flavor to it. It's a Swiss currency note that I've made a screenshot of. But who's this gentleman and why does he have a local attachment? 400 points. Come on, guys. Same soldiers again. The two girls. That would be Divya and Ishita. Go for it. Sir, he's... Do you want to invest? No. No one falls for that. Okay, go for it. 
So he is Lee Kabuje, who uh, uh, who was the, who designed Chandigarh. Chandigarh. He was uh, main architect of Chandigarh, and he is on this currency note. Currency note. The Swiss currency note that was dedicated to Lee Kabuje for all the work that he's done for Chandigarh. That is another hundred points to you. Another hundred points to you. Outstanding way of finishing this quiz. That would be two really, really good answers. And on both cases, I don't get why you didn't invest. But nothing, absolutely nothing taking credit away from the two girls, Divya and Ishita from St. Soldier's School. But I think they deserve a round of applause. Come on. Very, very good job. Thank you so much for watching. You're watching NSC's Financial Quest Season 6 and that was Chandigarh. Next week's going to be another great battle. But till then, stay tuned. I'm your host, Lloyd Saldana, along with the entire team of CNBC TV 18 and the National Stock Exchange. Take care, stay tuned, and we will see you next week. Innovate. Enable.